this is the video I'm making to say my opinion of how I think Rey Mysterio killed the Cruiserweight Division. And basically, I think Rey Mysterio killed the Cruiserweight Division. All because he was WWE's highest Cruiserweight, highest light Cruiserweight in the bit in the, the in the WWE company. And when and he went in as soon as he took, went out of that, as he took 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 him out of the Cruiserweight Division and put in the Heavyweight Division, that basically said goodbye to our Cruiserweight team. I know all y'all fans won't disagree with me because y'all like Rey Mysterio. How do I like Rey Mysterio? And I mean, I don't. I never really liked him too. I never really liked Ray that much. He was always a fan favorite, and I like superstars who plays one role for too long. That's just my nerves. It's aggravating. And one of the reasons why I like John Cena because he just plays that role too long. And he's always, you know, the good guy, superhero, kind of like Hulkamania was. He's a superhero, basically. He never loses. They never lose. Him and Mysterio, they never lose. But it's and it's. And when you took him out the division, there was nobody else they really had to t take the place of Rey Mysterio. I mean, had Gregory Helms, but today's fans, they don't like heels. They hate them. And if you're a heel, then they boo you, and they, and they want a hurricane back because they're, they're all little kids that's about 10 years old, 8, 10 years old, cheering, hurricane, hurricane, hurricane. So if any real wrestling fans will agree with me, agree with this video, that... Rey Mysterio killed the Cruiserweight division and in doing that crippled WWE. When you take away the Cruiserweight title of WWE, when you take away the high action, the off top rope, the exciting, the the high pace action, now people gotta go TNA to watch that. Which is really sad because I, I love the two division. I mean, but if you Look all the games down to the games to the market to the merchandising with Ray Mysterio. Even in the games, right? Even in the games, you should have Ray Mysterio and you have no one else. No other cruiserweights. Three cruiserweights. Gregory Helms. Probably they had they had three cruiserweights and the only cruiserweight they have was Ray Mysterio and he was big. He was like ninety. The other cruiserweights were like eight, like eighty one, eighty two. Which shows you how cruiserweight division is trash. That they don't even have that many cruiserweights in games and marketing and t shirts, and they took away the title now because it was pointless to give it to Hornswoggle of all people. That was a really bad opinion, too. But and I think it all started when it all started to get bad when Rey Mysterio won the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania, and that when it all got bad because then he became this big underdog and he was sucking out the cruiserweight division and put in two. The heavyweight division, which I think that was horrible. I think I was stupid for WWE to do that, but they did it anyway. But, but, but I don't understand a lot of management moves that WWE has made over the years. It just really frustrates me and it makes me mad. But what can you do? I mean, you're going to do so much, right? But this is my video of how I think Rey Mysterio killed the WWE cruiserweight division. It's a kid. Peace.